So Sean Porter comes out and says, Boots is underrated. He's overrated. Crazy, right? Because this is the same Sean Porter that said that Jerron Ennis was nobody he wanted to fucking fuck with. He don't want to fight him. He's next up. He's the goods. And now all of a sudden, Jerron Ennis is um, overrated. You know, Jerron Ennis respond like, all right, so if I'm overrated, why don't you come out of retirement and fight me? If I'm so overrated. I don't know. You know what I think? I think Sean Porter just be talking because he's trying to get his podcast popping even more. So he's just talking. He's trying to create, stir up, you know, controversy and shit to, like, get his, get his podcast popping. I think that's what it is, man. Because there's no way in hell you could say Jerron Ennis is overrated one minute. And then you sit up there and say Jerron Ennis is not overrated. Uh, then, then you sit up there and you say Jerron Ennis is, um, he's... He's the goods first, but now he's overrated now that you retired. So then Sean Porter re re responded. And he said, bro, I'm retired and I'm established without you. So why the fuck you said something then if you didn't want you didn't want Boots to respond back? You know, it's crazy. I don't, I don't know. Shit, shit is hell. It's boxing shit, man. It's like a fucking soap opera, man. It really is, man. But we all know Jerron Ennis was spank fucking Sean Porter. Only thing, but the thing is, though, to be honest, though, if they did fight... I think Porter will still give Sean Porter will still give him a good run for his money though. You know, Sean Porter got the experience. Um, Boots will have to deal with that pressure. But I think what will end up happening in that fight, it'll be just like the way the way Boots, the way Boots, um, the way Sean Porter got knocked out by Sean, by Bud by lunging in and not running in here with his hands guarded up. I mean, his face guarded. That's what's gonna happen if he run in there with Boots. It's gonna be the same shit out there. I think. Um, Boots will probably knock Sean out more than likely, man. Uh, I don't know if it'll be in the same fashion as Bud, but it'll be something like similar. Sean Porter just really, he just, you know, he's harmless, man. He just talking his shit, man. You see my man's suit the other day, man. Sean Porter, hey, you got to give him some, you got to give him his props, man. He has a unique sense of style. I like people that got unique, unique sense of style. I've seen the memes. I've seen people clowning him saying, look like, the motherfucker had a, a, a plate of uh, somebody had mustard on a spoon. I seen all kind of shit. It was it was <laughs> oh she said like somebody scraped mustard on a spoon and pushed it to the like like split mustard down on a spoon or some shit like that. I was reading. Yeah, that's what they said. Split mustard on the fucking spoon. That's hilarious, man. But hey, whatever, Sean Porter. You know, you come out of retirement for another check against Boots. He gonna spark you just like Bud did, man. In my opinion. I don't know if it'll be easy. I don't think it's gonna be easy work, but um, that'll definitely be a fight that'll give Boots some experience. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know what you think about what Sean Porter said about Boots, man. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out.